In this video, I'll be taking you through the basics of the app AR Maker so that you can make use of the built-in features as well as your own content in order to create simple and easy to use augmented reality experiences in your classroom. If it's your first time using AR Maker, you are likely to see an introduction like this, which takes you through several screenshots highlighting some of the different features of using AR Maker. When you're ready, go ahead and click the Start button. There are three main features when you come into the app AR Maker. Templates, My Scenes, and My Library. You will be brought to the page of Starter Templates. While these may look more geared towards primary children, they can be utilized for any content or subject area. You also have the option of being able to create your own scene either utilizing the tools within AR Maker for 3D design or 2D design, as well as bringing in your own original content and creations. In the middle, we have the option called My Scenes. When you're working with AR Maker, you're able to save your scenes for later on. You can bring these up at any time and load them no matter where you are and carry on working. Or you can go ahead and delete them from your collection if you no longer need them. You also have a collection of your content. This is whatever you choose to create within AR Maker itself or content that you bring in to use within your scenes. The content library will collate all of the content that has been added into your different scenes the more that you work in AR Maker. So from time to time, you will need to come in and purge any creations that you no longer need. You can do this by clicking on the select button and selecting any content that you no longer need and deleting. You will then be asked to confirm if you do want to delete the content. Let's jump back into the templates. If you want to use one of the starter templates, you can preview what some of that content will look like. However, if you want to create your own scene, here is how we'll do it. Click the plus and then click the Start button. When you first open the AR Maker, you'll be asked by the iPad to scan around for a flat surface. This is so the iPad can locate a place where you can start building and creating your scene. You will likely see a grid appear. The more that you move around with your iPad, the wider or larger that grid is going to get. And that grid indicates the building space that you have to create your scene. When you're satisfied with the size of your grid, Tap the screen. This will then bring up a target. Your target is what you will use to move around the building space and place your different types of items to make your scene. On your left hand side will be any of the content that you bring in to AR Maker. Let's take a look at how we do that. On the left hand side, tap the new button. Right away, you'll be greeted with a grid and some different shapes. This is how you can go about using AR Maker's built-in features to make your own 3D shapes. Let's try one now. I've selected a sphere. And as you can see, the grid has now wrapped itself around the sphere. Let's jump back to the plane. I can make use of the built-in drawing features and decorate this plane. There we are, a very simple design. Now I can jump back into the sphere and that will have wrapped itself around the 3D shape. If I'm satisfied with that, I can click on the check. If I'm not, I can click on the X. Once you click on the check, it will say that your object has been saved to your library and is ready to use. Here we can see it sitting in our content library on the left-hand side. When I bring this in, I can resize it using my fingers. You'll also notice that measurements will appear at the bottom of the screen, depending how big you make your creations. They could be really small or really large. I can move around with my iPad 
to indicate where I want that item to sit in the building space of my scene. I'm quite happy with it there, so I'm going to tap Place. The object is now sitting in that space in the real world. Let's go back into new and add something from our photo library. Click on the file button to bring up your photo library within your iPad. I've selected to bring in a Memoji character as part of the Memoji storytelling video also available on my YouTube channel. As you can see, the background has changed to be black and white, meaning that this item has no background to it. I can do different things such as flipping it or resizing it. Or if I'm not happy with it, I could just get rid of it and go back into my photo library, but I'm, I'm satisfied with that. So let's click the check. Here we can preview it and check again. And now we have that character sitting right there. The fun thing with working with AR Maker is being able to put different items within 3D objects that you create, such as this one. Another great feature of AR Maker is being able to add animations. As you can see, my Memoji character is sitting inside that sphere that I made before. While the sphere is selected, you can see in the bottom right hand corner that I now can add some animations to it. I can make the sphere blink, pulse, spin left or right, spin clockwise or counterclockwise, vibrate, move, or even do a simple orbit. Making use of these animations is a great way to enhance your scene and start to bring different concepts to life for your students. I'm gonna leave that right there. While it's great fun to move the target around as you have lots of freedom and flexibility, AR Maker also provides you with a building grid. As you will notice, the target will move with almost magnetic precision around the grid, not only on the horizontal plane, but also on the vertical, if I choose to put things above the floor of my scene. As I mentioned earlier in the video, your content library, which you previewed in the opening screen under my library, will just keep adding more and more and more content every time that you create something new. So this is why it is so important to keep that library clean and tidied up. But let's go ahead and build a scene now with some additional content I've added from earlier projects. Here we have a finished scene made in AR Maker. I can easily make use of the iPad's screen recording feature or the built-in screen uh, shot tool from AR Maker in order to document and share my project with others. At the moment, there is no export option for scenes that you create in AR Maker, but I am hopeful that in the future, the developers will make this available. I don't like to use the built-in screen recording tool as part of AR Maker's collection. I prefer to use the one on the iPad, and this is owing to having a smoother video finish rather than it being a bit buffering um, in appearance. Once you're finished with your scene and you've put all your content where you'd like it to be, you then need to decide what are you going to do with it. Using the more option, we can reset and start again. We can quit and go back to the main screen or we can save our scene for later. Let's do that now. And we tap save scene once we've given it a title. I will now be able to bring that scene up at any time should I need it in my lessons. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and do give it a try playing around with AR Maker.